products. It's new product time. All right. All right. So we're gonna start this with one. we're gonna start with this. Yeah, this one's easy. This is well, if you like our really high quality five volt two amp power supplies, these are great for single board computers. <clears throat> you'll love these. Um, you'll really really like this, especially if you're not an American citizen or Japanese citizen or Canadian citizen, um, or Bermuda. Uh, if you, or if you are, it actually comes with a US plug too. This version, hey, can you hide me for a second? Sure, I'll hide you. Yeah. It comes with European, uh, British, Australian, and American plugs. So these are like the four, I think these are the only four plugs you can ever really use and they snap into the power supply. And so you can take this on the go and it's the same high quality power supply works with, you know, 110, 110 volts up to 240 volts. Um, can you just flip through them really fast? I'm going to flip through these really fast. Um, British, Australian, European, American. Very high quality supply. Uh, the reason it takes us so long to do this is because we want to make sure we get UL, <coughs> FCC, and CE certified um, high quality supplies. Um, this is a really, really good supply and yeah. uh, it has 5.3 volt output and 20 gauge wires and we do that so that if you're drawing two amps the problem is like a lot of places they cheap out and they have the the cable has very thin wires so when you draw two amps at the end of the wire um, the voltage is dropped down to 4.3 volts or 4.5 volts and and your stuff burn, blow, um, browns out and you corrupt your sd card and everything sucks and it like cycle boots and it's like no good if you want to run a single board computer you definitely want to have a very good quality power and so this one has extra thick wires and a slightly higher than five volt uh, output voltage. And so we put this on our load, load meter so that when you draw two amps, you still have like 4.95 at the end of the cable. So you'll, you'll definitely be able to run your five volt Raspberry Pi or whatever um, single board computer without having to worry about brownouts from the supply. So I'm just telling you why this is such an excellent supply. Okay. Most people think the power supply is the one part they can cheap out. It's not. Okay. Get a good power what are these? Supply. What is this? This is an IVC helper that's 20 pin, and I will show this on the overhead because it's kind of cool and interesting. So if you um, do electronics, you're probably like, hey, I've got IVC cables. Okay. Like the one for this matrix. And IVC cables are two pin. Wait, let me uh, zoom in. They're like from like a Raspberry Pi or something. They're two by 20 pin long. And so if you have like a breadboard, like you can't plug them in because the middle has the gap. And then if you plug them in over here, then the pins are connected together and you'd have to cut the traces. So chances are you probably experienced this frustration. So what's nice about this is it's a little um, socket that is exactly 0.3 inches across. So it plugs across here and then you can plug um, this header in like so. Hold on, you get a leverage. There you go. And then you can now plug in an IDC cable into like a Perma Proto. I personally used it with solderless breadboards, where I plug this in the solderless breadboard into the middle. I think it depend depends on your brand of solderless breadboard because I found that as long as you press it in. Um, It'll stick, but sometimes it doesn't, so it's up to you. But um, you can also like, ex you know, thicken the wires or something. But it's perfect for use with perma protos and other um, solderful breadboards, not solderless breadboards. So it just makes like it's basically like a high cobbler or any kind of IDC breakout. <coughs> very simple and very low cost, but works really great. Okay. If you have IDC cables, you'll probably you can use this and just cut it into pieces as you need. Okay. The star of the show, besides you tonight, is the. RGB matrix hat with clock. Well, real time clock built in. <clears throat> wow, look at this beautiful photo of a cube. This is the demo that it comes with. Although we have a Python library as well, thanks to um, Pet Your Dragon. And if you've seen these beautiful RG matrices, this is like something that we've carried for a very long time. Um, the Raspberry Pi, uh, somebody actually wrote a really cool library that can bit bang these displays on a Raspberry Pi. And though, even though the Raspberry Pi doesn't have like a real time operating system, like it's it is Linux, it's running stuff in the background. Um, the Pi is fast enough and it has enough pins that it can, it can just blast through and basically draw colors. Even though it's not like perfect, beautiful 32-bit color, it's, it's pretty damn good. Like you can barely yeah. notice. You know, if you have very dim colors, maybe you'll notice a little flickering. Okay. But it's really beautiful. There's a lot going on here. Do you want to try to show this? Yeah, so I so thought- I got, I got some photos, but- uh, No, we should- uh, Do you want to go to the overhead and try yeah, to show this thing? Let's show the overhead and maybe, um, maybe, oh. 
I could turn off some no, lights. No, no, let's something. go to the uh, the, the um, main camera. You go to the main camera? All right. Yeah, hold on. How am I going mean, to do this? Okay, want me to hold up two or something? Yeah, maybe hold up. Wow, neat. Okay, <clears throat> wait, this is, hold on. I think it's messing up the camera. That's cool, it's messing up the camera. No, 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 this one, this is, this is going to go this way. You have to hold this one. You put this down. Okay. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. <clears throat> Fusion. We could do it across the bottom. Okay, look It'll at look this. At, it looks like it belongs. Look, 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 we're professionals. So you can chain uh, these together. There's this cable, there's a power cable, and there's an IDC cable, and you can chain them together. So for example, this is like a spectrograph demo, um, and it's got uh, four 32 Good by stuff. 32 panels. And it's like, you know, it can do full color. Like I think you can do like 16-bit color um, with this many panels. Basically, the more panels you add, the harder the pie has to work. So this is kind of the most pixels you'd want, 32 by 128 also gets kind of expensive so this is this is pretty nice but you can um draw graphics and images and 16 bit color and it's cool and rotating squares game of life <coughs> it's also like a game of life yeah. demo All right. um and the uh hat which is plugs into a Raspberry pi model a or b doesn't uh a plus or b plus doesn't work with the uh, model a or b it doesn't have enough pins so you have to use the a plus or the b plus it has a real-time clock on it as well, so with the addition of a coin cell battery, you can have the Pi remember the time even if it loses power, which is kind of handy if you want to make a good display that has some sort of clock or date type thing, which is pretty common. So I thought, hey, let's toss a <coughs> RTC on it. also has um, a really nice power supply protection circuit, so whatever you plug into the DC jack, if it's not 5 volts, it won't destroy your Pi. I mean, I wouldn't like try to destroy it, but if you plug in 9 volts or 12 volts by accident, it will not destroy your matrices in your Pi. It will okay. just not work. So it's very fancy, and we've got some great code. We're going to have some cool projects to do with it as well. So if you have these RG matrices and you want to use them with a Pi, this hat will make your life much easier. All right. Those new products.